Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And a big hello to all you new subscribers. Thanks for joining us here. We have a lot of outboard fun up in here. So, you saw the uh, little 25 Evan route I had in my last video, and it uh, didn't pan out that the owner wanted to spend the money and such, and so. I've got another little victim in here for us. This one I kind of know the backstory on, and uh, I believe the information I'm getting is factual and from an honest person that owns this. He's a uh, bear hunting guide here. He said the engine has been submerged, but in fresh water. And the way they hunt, they fly into some of these larger lakes we have in the remote areas of Kodiak. Um, so it could be that it was submerged in fresh water. He said that um, when it was submerged, it was running and um, it jumped off the boat raft and when he got it back when they got back over to the beach they dumped the water out he said he sprayed a bunch of WD or something in the cylinders pulled it over and then when he tried to drain the carburetor he broke off the drain screw so we should see that in there and uh, so we're going to get on this one. I'll show you this little victim. And uh, I think we'll take it on the, uh, the, along the lines of the uh, last outboard that I had in here. I'll just start with a fax check. I'll get my one half Milwaukee on it. And we'll spin it over really fast with the plugs out and see what comes out of it. And just go from there. So I will show you the victim. Oh yeah, I've been working on the old Danger Ranger. I got her about back together. There's our victim. A little yummy two-stroker fitting. And I haven't even popped the hood off of this thing yet. she seized he's got the plugs off more and that that plastic recoil units cracked they tried to goop it I'll show you that they tried to goop it with some goop now the spark plugs are B7HS10 Pretty rusty. Oh yeah, they smell. He used, I can just tell by the smell, he used PB Blaster. That's what that is. PB Blaster. But right now she seized. So, let's get us, what size is that? that ain't it. Let me get us a zippy. And I think I'm going to use an extension. I've got a 10 millimeter already on it. I think these are pins. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this recoil broke all the pieces. He's got goo on that, too. These bear guides are rough on them. This one, I think. Yeah. 
Let me get these. Hello. This is what I reach in and get things. Yeah, sometimes I do. I think I can get him. Well, I don't know. It's stuck down in them cables. Oh, the carburetor ain't even bolted on. <laughs> this thing's this thing's pretty rough. You see, here's the bracket. Heck, this was aluminum. They even broke the aluminum. That goes there. You can see the marine text. Get you over here on the light. You can see the marine text gookum pucky that didn't work. And there's also, they put some on the recoil start. Um, in the back that didn't work. Nice big blob of marine text. I find if you use this marine text putty, you you gotta you gotta put it on there. And it's best if you drill some holes so it can ooze in there, but uh, she don't feel seized. I wonder what... Let's see if anything comes out. Yeah, there's stuff she... And that's mostly water. I can smell some PB in there, but... Let's see if it feels any better now with the breaker bar. Um, it feels pretty rough. Well, that did make it feel a little smoother. Yeah. Yeah, Lee, I don't know. Well, let's get a uh, let's get a Sparky Spider on it, and then just for giggles, we will do a compression check on it. But let's see what this old uh, Sparky situation is all about. Beep, 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 I want to put it right there. Okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that with all that sunlight, but I'll try and use the camera to block the sunlight. Did that work? No. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. It'll be these top two right here. See if we got anything. It's got good hot spark on both. So. So we've got some hot sparky. Let's put the compression gauge in the bottom. In the bottom one. In the bottom. We are at zero on a compressionist check. So we'll get. What we get? What we get? What we get? At 125, about 130. Now, how much of that is oil? Don't know. But 
it says we've got it. We are in the top zero. It says 125.30, about 135. Now I'm thinking some of that's probably to do with the oil that's been shot in there. But, yo cabarepa has been taken off. Now he said the drain screw come on, was, uh, snapped on the carb. Here's the air silencer. And the carb is just loosely on here. Hmm. So, let me get it off. and see what we're dealing with here. If I see any water come out or anything. Yeah, there's the drain screw snapped off, so... I'm, I'm guessing that if they took the time to take the carb off, they would have uh, took the Phillips screws off and drained the water out, I would think. But we will see. You guys, you guys with me there? Yeah, let's get me a zipper and see if what's in that old carby. Fuel pump inlet, they broke that. There is water in there a little bit. See a drop right there. But it's a little bit of water. But overall, not, not too bad. I think we'll just blow it off with compressed air. You can see it ain't that bad. And uh, I ain't going to worry about the drain screw right now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to blow it off with some compressed air. Let me light off my compressor. I'll be right back. Well, I got this one out of the dumpster just a second ago. I'm going to plug it in. I just plugged it in. Let's see what we get. Oh, that don't sound good. Maybe there was a good reason that was in the dumpster. Okay, I uh, just took some regular carb cleaner, rattle can carb cleaner, and squirted in there. In the fuel pump, I squirted triflow in there because this has oil in it, and I didn't want to distort it. So I just shot some regular old intake cleaner in there and we're going to just blow everything out with some air and 
make sure this, okay, it's not froze. Then we're going to put the bowl back on and uh, we, I think then, what am I doing, what am I doing wrong, there it is, put it over here, put it the right way, put it the right way, they don't fit real good the wrong way, all right. These are screws. I cannot pick them up with these gloves. Once you get the oil all on, let me get these. And then I'm going to take me a couple of small quarter inch drive sockets and put over these long screws. And put this garbage raider back on there. I think that'd be the best. And I'm just going to see if I can get this thing to fire over. There we go. So, kind of, well, I hope you guys can see it all with that lighting situation. Um, so what we're gonna do is take little socket to use as a spacer because this would have the air silencer there. Um, put the carburetor on using a couple quarter inch sockets for spacers. I put the plug back in. I shot some tri-flow in the cylinders, each cylinder. We know we got spark. the gas hose going to the fuel pump unhooked. I want to squeeze the ball, make sure there's nothing coming out of that. Out of that uh, sediment bowl, except good gas. So I'm going to give it some pulls. You'll see what I see. As far as I know, everything's hooked up. I ain't gonna be able to pull real hard because this thing's just junk. A little, I guess. Let's see, yeah, that moved it a little. Warm up a little bit. This is what it needs more than anything. 
anything. switch works. So what a nice little motor it's a shame. Let me see where now I got this guy set about right I can adjust it with the actual adjusting screw. Okay. I want to adjust it up and then we can turn it back down. Um... I'm on my about number four, I think, on my drill bit sizes. And uh, then I've got a little easy out right here that I'm going to try. You can see I've drilled one, two, three, I'm on number four. Okay, this time I got an actual easy out. Instead of a tap. Okay, just let me see if we got anything. Feels like it might be grabbing a little bit. Yeah. This brass is so soft though. Well, I got me a little T handle and put it in there and I'm literally bending the handle. That, that easy out's got a good grip on it, but it just ain't coming out. Took me a bolt and ground it down to a little point. And I'm going to see if I can catch that brass on the edge. Don't know. Got somewhere that time. Okay, now when I took the uh, float bowl off, and I'll blow this out with air, I went out and got a new drain screw with a little washer. There it is. When I took the float bowl off, here's, here's what I found inside. Can you see it? 
that's the brass. That's the part I chiseled out. And it worked out real good. It just popped right out. The threads are still good. I, I took a, uh, a tap and chased it, but I don't think I really would have needed to. Okay, I blew everything out. And I got the float sitting in there nice. Right in there, you can see, you can see, you can see. And I got my brand new drain screw in there. This is a stainless one that I took out of another cab Reaper. And so what we're going to do now is put this thing back together. I first took out a brass one. Thought that would be it. It was out of a yammy snatch carburetor too, but it's too big. Um, But there's what's left. There's the complete package of what his was. Right there, can you see? This thing needs a lot more. Just a minute. This little we got chunks of broken aluminum. The recoil is um pretty much shot. Um, I have another recoil and on this one I believe I would just have to, let me look real quick. Gosh. Yeah. I think in order to fix it properly to get this piece, you know, correct I would have to replace the intake and I think that's all that's all I think that piece is part of the intake so take off the, the carb which is loosely on there anyway and then uh, I don't believe I'm almost positive but I'd have to look at the schematics but I believe I could pull the intake off without having to pull the power head so, um, as far as this motor goes right now, I'll have to get in touch with the owner and go, what all do you want me to replace? You know, I have a recoil starter for this motor, but I'll, I'll look at the price. I know it's not cheap, so even if I sell it to him used, it's going to be quite a bit of money. Um, if he wants me to replace the intake so that the recoil could be affixed to it properly, cha ching, more money. Um, aside from that, I can't remember what else we found, but the good news is it's been submerged and it does run. So, uh, and, it, and it appears to run halfway decent. So, with a little work and a little money, um, it, it can be brought back, but it's going to be totally up to him because that recoil starter, um, like I said, used, it's not cheap, new, you'd, you'd probably be getting it close to what the motor's worth. So I'll let him make that decision. And uh, so 
I think uh, that's going to be a wrap on this one. Short and sweet, and, but at least we have a motor that uh, went down, came up, starts, pees, shifts. So that's going to be a wrap on this one. And as always, that's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.